All right, welcome into NBA Now by Chat Sports. I am Chase Senior. Hope all of your weeks are going in grand fashion. Coming your way on today's show, we're going to react to Colin Cowherd's top 20 NBA players over the last 20 years. But first, I want to give a shout out to today's presenting sponsor, Aura, for making today's show possible. Millions of people per year get their credit and debit cards hacked, their identities stolen. Get rid of all of those headaches with a free 14-day trial. If you sign up using our link at the bottom of your screen right now, it's Aura.com slash chat sports that link available for you in the comment section and the description for all of our loyal subscribers so on the docket for today's show Colin Cowherd on his podcast on the volume broke down his top 20 players over the last 20 years and there's a really fascinating criteria that he included with that list we'll unpack all of it as well as those top 20 guys but first if you've been a big part of our chat sports movement as last night we were able to reach a milestone here at the company of 300,000 subscribers on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel and 1 million subs all across the company. I want you to hit that thumbs up icon, like the video, and show us that you're a real one and a real supporter of everything that we do. Greatly appreciate all of you for making today's show and all of our content a part of your days and weeks. So here is Cowherd's criteria that he factored in when talking about his top 20 players over the last two decades. Winning, awards, star power and influence. For instance, were you a pop culture icon? Did you bring something to the table in terms of culture? Did you have a monster shoe deal? And the region aspect also played a pivotal role in his list as well. So we start off with Damian Lillard coming in at number 20. And as we know, Damian Lillard over time has become one of the best offensive players that we've ever seen. From Cowherd, he said his influence in the Northwest gets him on this list. His Adidas shoe deal, only eight players players on this list have averaged more points per game. He also has a music career as well, which is certainly big for the culture. Next up at number 19, it's Jason Kidd, who in my opinion, some of the best vision among all point guards in NBA history. Cowherd talked about the passing ability, which was up there with Magic Johnson. Kidd is also a 10-time All-Star, made it to three NBA Finals with the Mavericks as well as the New Jersey Nets at the time, and won an NBA championship alongside Dirk Nowitzki. Next up at number 18, it's James Harden. Not much leadership or defense throughout his NBA career, but what you cannot deny is the special offensive of ability and the overall offensive acumen. Cowherd calling him one of the best pure scorers over the last 20 years, won an MVP, couple of scoring titles, and was also a 10-time All-Star. I imagine that even though James Harden has lost a step, still has some All-Star game appearances left in the tank. At number 17, it's Steve Nash, and already a couple of phenomenal guards throughout the course of NBA history. Two MVPs for Steve Nash, really the big one over Shaquille O'Neal back in the early 2000s, was, which was very controversial and remains controversial up to this point, even all the way now in 2022. Nash also an eight-time All-Star, and nobody on this list averaged more dimes over the last 20 years. And he compared the Phoenix Suns led by Steve Nash as the Microsoft with that fast-paced style under Mike D'Antoni to now, which is the Golden State Warriors Apple. Classic cowherd analogy right there. A little bit of a surprise here. And speaking of those Warriors, Draymond Green coming in at number 16. Three NBA championships, four trips to the All-Star game, defensive player of the year, multi-time All-Pro defensively. And with Draymond, cowherd made a good point. He proves that basketball is more than just putting the biscuit in the basket, more than just scoring, more than points. And Draymond Green has been so critical to the Warriors' championship culture, him passing out of the high post, his overall basketball IQ, his leadership skills, and the fact that he ain't scared of the big moment, and he is a dog. Since we're going over this list over the last two decades, and we're only getting started on today's show, you don't want to miss a single second of it, I want to ask you this question, because the NBA has such a rich history, Why? and that's why people are so tied into this game. Which year did you first fall in love with the NBA? For me, it was about 1996, tail end of Michael Jordan with the Chicago Bulls, early portion of Allen Iverson's tenure with the Philadelphia 76ers. For me, growing up in the Philadelphia area, absolutely loved IA. I want to hear from you in the comment section right now. As I mentioned off the top, today's presenting sponsor is Aura. You go to aura.com slash chat sports and you'll get hooked up with the best 
digital safety tool out there on the market today. We're talking financial fraud protection, identity theft protection, online, online and device security, and these plans can protect up to five people if you plug in that link at the bottom of your screen. And if you do that, either on your phone, your tablet, however you're watching us right now, or on your web browser, it's Aura.com slash chat sports. You get a free 14-day trial. One more time, an all-in-one digital safety tool for your entire family. Nowadays, everything lives online. You don't want your identity stolen, your credit card hacked. Get rid of all of those headaches with Aura today. At number 15, Dirk Nowitzki of the Dallas Mavericks. More points than any international player in NBA history and arguably the greatest upset in the NBA Finals that we've ever seen. The 2011 Dallas Mavericks team that took down the Miami Heat, the highly favored Miami Heat, led by LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Ray Allen, Dirk Nowitzki, also a 14-time All-Star. It's kind of a shame that he didn't win more NBA championships throughout his illustrious career, but arguably the best international player ever. Now, I just told you, I fell in love with the game of basketball and the Sixers because of the answer, Allen Iverson. And I'd make the argument that no player ever in the history of the NBA has impacted the culture of the game on the court and off it than Allen Iverson. He normalized fashion. He also made headbands, cornrows, and tattoos cool, as well as the arm sleeve. Nobody was doing that or rocking that before Allen Iverson. He did it, and now everywhere you look, everybody is following suit. Now, Allen Iverson ranked at number 14, which is a little bit low on this list, but Cowherd did say his MVP back in 2001 out of the 20-year window, but he's iconic, two-time scoring champion, two-time steel champ, one of the best in the league for a decade, and people still reference the infamous press conference all these years later. At 13, Paul Pierce of the Boston Celtics, one of the most underrated stars, Cowherd said, and out Kobe Bryant for an NBA Finals MVP. At number 12, the other controversial guy on this list, it's Kyrie Irving, one of the biggest shots in NBA history against the Golden State Warriors, the 2016 NBA Finals against Golden State to knock down that dynasty and the best small finisher at the rim among small guards. That's what Cowherd said, and I do believe it. I do agree because he has an innate ability of finishing around the rim, which is very, very special. Number 11, it's Kawhi Leonard as this list continues to heat up. He's the best get-a-basket, get-a-stop guy on this list, arguably, Cowherd said. Two titles, two finals MVPs, and would be higher on this list if he actually played more regular season games. A higher winning percentage than any great player over the last 20 years. Speaking of great players, who is your favorite NBA player of all time? I know we have people tuned in from different geographical standpoints, different countries, different states all across the globe. So we're going to field a bunch of different answers. Fascinated to see what you all come up with. To the top 10 now, Chris Paul leading things off. 12-time All-Star. He's won everywhere he's played, and he's the consummate pro. Won with the New Orleans Pelicans and the Hornets back in the day. The Clippers, Rockets, Suns, OKC, Cliff Paul is also famous, which goes to show you the marketing power of Chris Paul as well. At number nine, it's Giannis. And I have a feeling that in five years, he's going to be even higher on this list. Giannis, so great, folks. But he missed the first portion of this timeline, which is why he is at number nine, which goes to show you the greatness of Giannis Antetokounmpo. NBA Finals MVP, a title, multiple MVPs, best offensive closer combined with defensive play as well. His body and his game completely unique. He's our new LeBron and this generation's LeBron James, and we've never seen a body type like Giannis. At number eight, it is the big ticket, Kevin Garnett, one of my favorite players of all time. One of the better one-name players out there, right? KG, anytime you're known from your initials, everybody knows that you're great. MJ, KG, one-time MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, 11-time All-Star, won an NBA championship with the Celtics, and All-Defensive Player multiple times as well. To one of the more selfless superstars we've ever seen at seven, Tim Duncan. Resume of a champion, a personality of an accountant. Another great Colin Cowherd analogy there. 12-time trip to the All-Star game, 
five-time All-Defense, and he was there for the Spurs dynasty at the beginning, the middle, as well as the end. At number six, another modern-day superstar and Dwayne Wade, who just recently retired within the last couple of years. Is there any player more popular in a single city than Dwayne Wade? Cowherd made the argument that no is the answer to that. Three titles, 13 All-Stars over 20 years, and he is the Heat franchise leader in basically every single major category and had the ability to recruit stars to South Beach like Shaquille O'Neal at the tail end of his prime and LeBron James in the heart of it. We're going to get to the top five here momentarily right around the corner. Cannot wait to break it all down, but first, want to thank all of you for continuing to support everything that we do here at Chat Sports last night, surpassing 300,000 subscribers. We certainly celebrated that achievement. We're going to keep it moving. Join the party here. Join the family for multiple videos every single day and the best content when it comes to sports on YouTube by hitting that red subscribe button down below. Final five players on Cowherd's list. It's Kevin Durant starting off the top five. All-time shot maker. He could beat Michael Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. Probably better than anybody, Cowherd had said. Two-time champion, two-time finals MVP on the Warriors, which was arguably the best team over the last 20 years, and higher points per game than anybody on this list. To the most dominant player that I personally have ever seen, that's Shaquille O'Neal. And Cowherd even said that as much. Unstoppable. More endorsements also than any active or inactive player right now. Shaquille O'Neal in the business world, he's making it happen. He's a mover and a shaker. Plus, the best pre- and post-game show on television in my opinion, on NBA on TNT. Jersey is also retired by two teams. Pretty hard to do. Los Angeles Lakers as well as the Miami Heat. To a current player as well in Steph Curry. He has literally changed the game at all three levels, and Cowherd took note of that at the high school level, college, as well as the pro ranks. You go to a pickup game. You watch a high school game. You watch a college matchup or a professional game. Three-pointers are now more popular because of Steph Curry, and you don't get ridiculed for taking 30, point, 30 feet three-pointers because of Steph Curry. Also to boot, three championships. The only unanimous NBA MVP in history has ball handling and shooting. Arguably, those two skill sets combine the best ever in those specific areas and the most selfless superstar that we have ever seen. To the late, great Kobe Bryant, the Mamba. We all miss him. Cannot believe he's gone even a couple of years later. One of the best offensive toolboxes ever, in my opinion. Three titles with two different centers multiple MVPs, a scoring championship, all NBA first team and astounding 11 times. And Cowherd said on the offensive end, more artistic with his offensive moves than Michael Jordan. That right there is high praise. He was great on defense as well for a really long time. Corporate and cool like Jordan. And in his last game, Kobe Bryant dropping 60 points. He always had a flair for the dramatic. At number one, you knew who it was gonna be. The King, LBJ. LeBron James, one of the greatest players that we've ever seen, and if he gets a couple more rings, maybe he closes in on Michael Jordan as the GOAT. Four MVPs right now, four titles in all of those championships, four finals MVPs, 18 All-Star appearances, most points combined in NBA history in the regular season as well as the playoffs, and he can do everything. LeBron James, like Giannis, incredibly unique with the physique, with the power, with the athleticism and the versatility, and what LeBron James did for the NBA, very, very powerful as he empowered players and mobility and the league has never looked back. So Cowherd's top 20 players over the last 20 years, how would you grade it? Let us know in the comment section right now. Obviously, I think Dirk Nowitzki is a little bit low. You can make the argument some players should have been higher, some players should have been lower, but with the criteria, that is of note. Cowherd's list, A, B, C, D, or F, and thanks for watching today's show.